Hello, people! My name is Rage, and welcome to some more Rebirth. And today, I've decided that I have reached a point in my Isaac career where I am just happy with whatever happens during... The... I really thought the Lost was... I was about to be like, forget everything I've just said! <laughs> I hate this game! No, I have reached... I've decided that, honestly, that... Winning a run is obviously good. There's no doubt about that. But I feel like what a lot of people, or maybe not you guys, certainly not. You've all been really awesome. It. Well, I mean, I'll, I'll, you know, generally speaking, I'll accept that as a first item. That's probably a good sign. I feel like Polyphemus in my cave, full of sheep, just. Whittling away the days and the hours, minding my own business, kidnapping a few satyrs. Satyrs? Satires. I, it's not satire, because satire is like sarcasm, like a comedic tool, so it must be satyrs. But a few people do say satires, and I don't really know where I'm going with this. This is beside the point. Just having, having fun, enjoying my nice island, and really just having a good life, and hoping that... You know, one day a Jason isn't going to come along and stab me in the eye or slingshot me in the eye, depending on the version of the story, and leave me blind and in pain and unable to look after and care and devour without mercy my sheep. And I think it's important we remember the life lessons that Polyphemus has taught us and what he's been through. And it's important that we remember that basically, right... Don't be a dickhead and steal people's sheep to eat. Like, what the hell? Also, when people come back for a fleece that you've stolen, admit you've been bloody caught. Be like, good show, old chap. Sorry, Jason. Here's your fleece. Off your pop, lad. Don't be like, ho, oh, oh, ho, I'm a cyclops and I'm 12 feet tall and I'm gonna capture the crew and then I'm gonna chew you and I mean eat you because raw. Don't be that guy. Have a bit of culture. Have a bit of class. Show some pizzazz in what you do. I mean, it's not difficult. Uh, you know, that's really what the ancient parable tells us, but that's not the point of anything that I was saying. I think what I've realized, kind of reached a point in Rebirth, that it doesn't actually matter if you win or lose. Even if you make a horrible mistake and lose, even if you play really boring with epic fetus and wit, that, I look so bad right now, that is, that is Polyphemus on a really bad trip to the doctors, it really is. We're gonna go see what that last room is, just in case there's a curse room off the end of it, but it doesn't really matter, because it's the journey that's important, isn't it? As with most things, the journey is what actually counts, because as long as you had fun, who the hell cares? I mean, it goes back to what I was saying about my life philosophy. If you end up having fun, it's all good. Who cares what happens, the bumps along the road? I feel like it's really fun to just genuinely play this game with the mind of, I don't need to feel stressed if I'm going to die because I feel like I'm going to disappoint you guys. That's not how it works. You all have fun on the run with me, and we just straight up enjoy ourselves. And I think that's a really nice thing to fully embrace. A lot of you are probably going, well, duh, Rage. Well, duh. Oh, it took you like 70 episodes, you plonker. I, I would love if someone, if one of you actually called me a plonker, but I don't want every comment on this video to be plonker, okay? Let's not go that far. That is not just stop it. And we don't actually have a key. Well, that sucks. Just a fire. All right, calm down. That really sucks. I'd love to... Uh, Get into that item room. That sounds like the worst innuendo. I'd love to see your item room. Oh, just not the way, not the way to go. Okay. Do you cost 15 cents? Because I feel like we have options. <laughs> so bad. What's the worst Isaac cheesiest pickup line? I think that's something we actually need to identify. Oh, man, that is, that is good. <laughs> Are you stem cells? Because you're stuck on my mind. <laughs> That's, that, I, I, I'm, I'm pleased with myself on that one. I'm genuinely like, yep, that is good. We'll take the mysterious piece of paper. I suppose I really do want a key, though. Come on, machine. Make it so. No? Alright, die then. Die horribly in a fire. 
Well, we get a pill out of it. Seems a little bit random, but I guess I will accept it. Goodbye to you. We get Isaac's head. I don't really need the damage help, do I? Oh, wow, a really... I mean, I'm kind of okay getting Polyphemus, because it's like... Oh, never mind. I was about to just, you know, rationalize that not getting the item room. It's not the end of the world, because Polyphemus is worth, like, three item rooms. But now that we are getting it... Screw that noise! I would have been so mad! And... Oh, well... Polyphemus is basically piercing tears anyway, isn't he? Because, yeah, isn't he? He's a physical person. Though at the same time, it's not quite as piercing as it could be. Like, applying piercing to it means that the full damage pierces through instead of just a little bit of it. So it's probably still a very worthwhile upgrade to Polyphemus. So I'm a Cyclops... Native, that's pretty cool. I want to say in the end, but for some reason that offends people, and I'm not really sure why. It, you know, realize it's a lot of people don't seem to realize you can say things without being offensive. You're just saying them like, like it really. And what always irks me as well is that people assume that when you say you don't like something, it means you like are like really against it. Like if I said to you, I don't like wearing blue T-shirts. It's like you then going, what, you think there's something wrong with people who wear blue t-shirts, you damn blue t-shirt phobe? And it's like, no, I just personally don't like blue t-shirts. I'm not going to walk up to people wearing blue t-shirts and call them like a prick and punch them in the face. Jesus Christ, calm down, man. And I realize we're getting a little bit sort of meta commentary for just an Isaac video, but I feel like it happens a fair amount, a pharaoh amount to Egypt. We are so upset. <laughs> We've just had our lands taken. <laughs> I couldn't. <laughs> oh, man, I almost feel bad, but that was brilliant. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Oh. <laughs> this is going to be a good episode. I, I, this is, is going to be a good episode. That's all I'm saying. I'm pleased with this. Um, I am what you call pleased. Vum. Oh, what? Free? Wow, really? Polyphemus is max damage, though, so surely it can't take that many things. Spiders, at least, fall in one go. I actually haven't had to reroll something yet, which is interesting for an Isaac run. I mean, normally you're rerolling like crazy, but I've not had a single bad item. This run would have been great on any character so far. And that's kind of neat, honestly. Well, that's a really, really terrible room, but because I've got piercing tears, it's actually kind of fine. They are both gone. Come on, Mr. J Stop it. Stop it. And another device. I shouldn't have picked that up right now, actually. That is, that is a ballsy move. That is saying that, no, I am not going to take damage to anything more than once on this entire floor. That is how confident I am right now, and that's probably not the acceptable level of confidence, though that was very satisfying to do, and that's why Piercing Tears is actually a really good upgrade to Polyphemus. This is fine, and... Is that Scorpio, or is that... That's Scorpio, so we'll reroll Scorpio into the Doctor's remote, which is kind of the opposite w that I want, but, you know, always got to get use out of something, just in case. I realized as soon as I pressed spacebar, that was impossible, but it's still worth seeing. Tears down. Kind of really sucks, especially with Polyphemus already having an abysmal tear rate, but that's okay. I always need to get it through my head that Polyphemus, that tears is how rapidly like one tier, two tier, three tier, high tiers would be one tier, two, three, 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 five, you know, whereas shot speed is just simply how fast they travel through the air. I always kind of got them mixed up a little. I really do want to find the, oh, ho, 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 that was, that was very supremely satisfying, actually. I'm almost upset I didn't get to do it to the other side. Nothing actually dropped there, so that is okay. And, come on, come on, I hate these things, they're so tanky for no, just no apparent reason, and we do actually get another key, so the shop is a viable option, I would, whoa, and there we go, and you as well, good, no troll bomb, stop it, okay, that would have been a great magic mushroom find though, oh my god, really? 
really the D4 of all things. I mean, I can't do the D4. The run's going fantastically. That would be ridiculous. We'll see what happens, though. I mean, there is two more rooms of reach re-roll, recharging. I mean, the Doctor's remote needs re-rolling more than anything, but it is very interesting to see just a casual D4 there. Mate, the run is going way too good. Way too well, even. I can do the English to consider D4-ing. I know people see that item, and I know you're probably thinking, I'm rage, but I don't want to turn what's a good thing into something really terrible. And did I just take two hits back to back and lose my Divine Heart? That's, that's your old fault. I was too busy worrying about how people would be, like, mad at me for not defaring, and then, and then you get me here and I lose my divine heart. So now you're just mad at me for not having the divine heart, and really that's your own, you've made yourself angry there. I love that argument, though. I think it's phenomenal to use, like, I am so angry right now, you know what you've done, and your response is, you could just not be angry. I love that. I, I mean, technically speaking, it really does work in terms of, okay, you could just not be angry. Yeah, stock bum. That will do. Come on, my friend. We got adventures to go on and people to see and princesses to save. Are any of the Isaacinians a princess? I mean, I guess Maggie could be. It would explain her desire to experience the world and why the question mark, as we discussed, was just so goddamn appealing to her. And... There we go. Down into the depths. Don't really know why I'm doing this. I guess I'm technically wanting a little bit of money to re-roll the D4. I do kind of like re-rolling dice with dice. I think that is wonderful. So yeah, I'm going to go in the sh- Well, do I even want to go in the shop with my one key? I can't even afford a battery. I don't want to bomb the donation machine. I don't suppose I'm that desperate to re-roll it, but it just feels like a shame to waste a free extra item. So I guess if there is literally a battery in here, and there is, then I'm sorry, donation machine. I need two money. I know, I'm an absolute bastard. Oh, you only gave me free anyway. Look, have one back. There you go. So let's re-roll the- I don't have a key to even- well, in my defense, I still need a reroll for the boss itself in any devil room, so it's not like that was a waste of time. I just complete. Oh, there was two coins to get with two bombs here. Though actually, that would that's such a reckless use of bombs just to get two money. So that's actually kind of fine. And you need to die. You need to die. I hate charging enemies. Oh, yes, I do. Who said you could just start randomly charging again? I don't remember saying that was allowed. And now I'm not going to get a devil room because of you. That's actually kind of fine. I'm alright with that. A swell is getting a joker. So we use that pheromones. May as well just pop the joker. See what we would have been missing. Lord of the pit. I mean, it's flight. I have five heart. It's just... It's the worst flight item by a country mile. But it is flight. I could re-roll it, actually. It's a two heart devil deal. Oh. Okay, then. I was under the impression that a two-heart devil deal being re-rolled had to become another two-heart devil deal. I guess I now know that that's completely not true. Today I learned, everybody. Today I learned. Curse of the Blind is really upsetting to have to deal with. Vroom. Lovely. Lovely, lovely, lovely. Loving it like that. That was good. Piercing tears are so much fun. It's why Sives is awesome. I would love Polyphemus Sives. I think Death... That's really nice. I think Death Sives are the one sort of special attack modifier that makes your run really good that I could kind of never get sick of because it's just so goddamn fun to use. I wish Piercing Tears made your tears actually affect hosts when their head was down. It would make them just so much better. I really need some HP to drop, just so I can actually... Oh, that was lame. That was very, very lame. Just so I could actually get some value out of Dark Bum. Telepeels! Okay. Didn't expect that to happen, but at the same time, wh whatever, I suppose. I mean, we do get the key to go in, but I don't have the money to do it, and I'm still wanting the item room. I suppose it doesn't really affect us in any real way, that happening. In fact, it might just put us closer to the item room, and therefore... Well, that's the boss room at the very least, so I could just go straight in there and uh, hope that we get a devil deal and re-roll the devil deal, because we're certainly powerful to take any given boss. So I think that makes a lot of sense. Dark Bomb, go fetch me a spirit heart, squire! Oh, fine, a blue spider. See how it is. 
and we get actual normal Gerdy as well, so he is going to be trying to fire at us, which is actually a novel experience, because the amount of times I just get the champion Gerdy that doesn't do this and just sits there summoning useless little flies that don't actually damage me, it's ridiculous. Look, there it is. There it is. And calm. Calm, fire tears at me. What are you doing? Damn it, all to hell. How could I let that happen? I knew what was going on. I knew what was about to happen. And I just was like, nah, it's absolutely fine. Should have been at the more front of him. Come on, please. Still devil room. Take pity on me. No, and we got Curse of the Blind anyway. Caffeine pills actually okay. Wow, I'm very shaky right now. That is a little bit ridiculous. But I'm okay with getting that kind of movement speed up. So... It's really not the end of the world, but that could have been a lot better. Actually, I guess, I, you know, very silver lining. Getting a devil deal when you have Curse of the Blind on kind of sucks because you just got to pot shot your life away, which is a really, really dangerous thing to do. So I'm actually kind of cool with that. And you should die fairly quickly. I love how it dies quickly enough for that really sucks. It dies quickly enough for the... Second dingle that spawns to die, the mulligan. That's I would have re-rolled that if I had known that it was there, but alas, alack, you don't always get what you want. It's not worth me going over to the curse room because I guess at the very simple things, yeah, I could get goat head, yeah, I could get the mac, the pact, all that jazz, whatever. But at the same time, I could accidentally pick up something like the. Oh, what was I just thinking about that would make it horrific? Oh, yeah, nine lives. If I accidentally picked up nine lives from a chest, then I'd be absolutely buggered. So, let's not do that. I just wish I could tell the game, start every run I do with a black candle, please, and we'll have a much better fun time. And I need it to line up with my piercing shot, and it did indeed. I hate you, troll bomb. I hate you, troll angels. Could have probably killed them both in one go there. Oh, we actually, the mulligan is... I thought it was only when I get hit, the mulligan, but I just spawned a fly. So maybe it's not entirely like that at all. Kind of want to hope that the item room is somewhere else, because I just don't want to have to deal with that right now. We'll go in here just in case. Two normal chests? Nah. Ain't nobody got time for that. What about over here? This is definitely promising, at the very least. It looks like the path could 100% be there. Caffeine pill giving me the kind of speed I need to remove her around these guys. And that worked out lovely. Two extra bombs for our cause. I am surprised that he didn't get one shot. Though I guess Polyphemus isn't as big as damage upgrade as you think. Is, is it actually... I don't actually know. Is Polyphemus the single... The biggest single damage upgrade that isn't a multiplication that you can get in the game. Because it's like plus a ridiculous amount, isn't it? Go away, creep. I want my bombs. Thank you very much. So, potentially. Okay, we finally are going to have an item room that I can see the items and will probably re-roll. I'm excited. I am very, very excited. And, yep. That. Slipper, right? I'm gonna take that. No, cancer. That's actually much better. <sighs> Why, game, do you have items called that? Why do you torment us so? And obviously, Polyphemus by itself wouldn't help against these guys, so that's actually really, really nice to see that. We do kind of want to get the D6 back up before the boss, though, so... That was good. In fact, actually, the mulligan's kind of a blessing in disguise, because my fly damage is just insanity simply because I have Polyphemus, so the multiplication is through the roof. So that's really nice to see. No red heart drops off him. And we get the Mask of Infamy, which again makes the choice to pick up Piercing. Kind of just moved in front of him there. I'm not sure why I chose to do that. That seems very much a silly decision. So now he's really upset, but it doesn't matter. This is the easiest Mask of Infamy fight I will probably ever have. I guess Brimstone kills them a little bit faster, but Polyphemus with Piercing Tears? I mean, yes, please. And we do actually get the Devil Deal. I am totally cool to get with Toothpicks and Horde of Babylon. I probably would have re-rolled that, but at the same time, it's not the end of the world, and I also don't really care about it at all. Like, I really... 
really don't. So I'm cool to just abandon that devil deal. And I do want to go to the curse room, which does mean sacrificing a black heart. Probably should have thought about that a little. Though once I was in the devil room, I either pick them up or I don't have them. So it's totally fine. And I guess potentially if we find a goat head, we can charge our d6 and go re-roll the uh, item anyway. So that's probably totes fine. And... Can't tell. Oh, oh! I was really excited and then nothing good happened. That is just the worst. Is that not just the worst, guys? It's so just the worst. And anything? No. Okay. Well, that's... That's fine. Wasn't there? I swear there was something. Maybe I'm just going crazy. Also, I feel like I'm firing polyphemus shots at a really ridiculously good rate. I never realized just how much of a tears and shot speed up apparently toothpicks is. Though it, there isn't a damage up, so it kind of sucks that it makes your tears go red. Because you're like, yeah, I'm powerful now when you're really, really not. The chariot's cool. We got a tinted rock over here. Telepills is kind of nice. Though, ah, I'm just a little bit off the boss rush. I mean, if I found the boss fight instantly, I suppose I can still very much do the boss fight. So that's probably not the end of the world. Probably get a little bit of a cleave on there. And I would say I can at least two-shot them. I can indeed. Yeah, I'm moving at a really nice speed, actually. It doesn't feel out of control. I don't feel slidey. Like, I stop when I want to stop. That's the main difference. So we've got our D6 charged, which is, of course, nice. But at the same time, I'm wasting so many charges of it. Could have had so many re-rolls. Two more bombs is fine. I could start digging through skulls, but I just don't think it's necessary. That kind of sucks just a little. And we got our shop there. We got the kind of money that it is worth it. So, hello, greed. Ah, <laughs> uh, yes, of course. Steam sale as well. Just, just to really rub salt in the wound there. Just to reduce any potential money equals power effectiveness. So, we have lost the ability to boss rush. I'm just going to randomly tell a... Pills. Okay. I mean, I, I guess pick up Book of B, but I'm going to re-roll them both. I mean, well, that's, that's a little bit good of an item to find there. A free ceremonial robes. I don't know how I feel about any of... What are the chances that Telepills takes you to I Am Error? So we just completely skipped Mum, which means that we can't go to the chest slash the dark room. Is that what that means? Because I have no way of I Am Erroring again. I feel like I've just... I mean, there's no, it's not like I did that deliberately. There's no way of knowing that would happen. That's completely thrown me. Actually, that's literally never happened before. Okay, then. I guess I just got to accept that this run is ending with either Satan or Isaac. And I guess it's ending with Satan just for, just for the sake of it. I mean, I'm okay with that, honestly, just because that's amazing that that happened. Especially getting a free ceremonial robes, but still a little bit just flawed by that being a thing more than anything. Sweet. I guess technically every teleport has a chance to I am error you, doesn't it? So it only makes sense that that did happen. I'm not one-shotting those guys. That seems a little bit suspect. I did at least. Really? That seems... Oh, there is another one. So there was three? I swear they normally don't come in odd numbers, but apparently I am totally wrong. And a little bit of lust, that's absolute. Wow, that one ran a lot faster than I was expecting there. Maybe I am like extra just desirable today. That could, that could definitely be a thing. Lemon party! It's a lemon party all up in here! Anybody order a lemon? Hey, here we go! Here we go! Here we go! That killed all but the champions. That kind of sucks. I'm a little bit disappointed I didn't get to do my my usual horse racing room. I feel like I was robbed of that opportunity by a black heart. I mean, I would pick that key up, but what do I need that key for? I can't go to the chest anymore. I just, I feel like that's an exceptionally unlucky flaw to get an I am error room on. 
And any boss shenanigans going up in here? No, there is not. That is a okay. And anything going on here? Nope. Alrighty then. Cool. We have found our boss. I guess technically, could we get undefined from anywhere? Because that's the only way we'd be able to move on with this. Loki, how are you doing, sir? That was tactical to kill the fly, because I didn't want to give the fly the satisfaction of being alive. That's um, that one was tactical just to show Loki that I mean that I mean business. So that's why that one was a thing. We actually get an angel room, which kind of sucks a little, but at the same time, I have a D6, so I'm, I am, you know, I am getting an angel room item. Uh, that's, that's basically, when you try and fight an angel, what you're saying is, no, you know what, I am getting an angel room item, and if I don't, well, then somebody is getting killed. Like, I don't, who are you gonna complain to? God? Oh, shit, yeah, you're an angel. Um, no. Reroll, and prayer card. Well, at least it's an extra health we got. I guess that's what I get for trying to kill an angel. And our item here, coat hanger, which I'm actually completely cool with. So we go grab a battery and then we move on with our lives. Pheromones, okay, yeah. I'd rather have a lemon party. Because, I mean, we always need a lemon party. dun 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 dun, -dun. Boom! Sweet. Very, very sweet. Off we pop into here. And away we go. So we gotta kill it lives, of course, which should be completely fine. Can I even get past it lives? Yeah, you know, I can get past it lives without it, so that at least makes some sense. That is just a very, very lame double key room there. I don't think I've actually seen a lamer double key room. Which it says a lot actually, because there are some pretty bad ones. And good things, good things, yes! Well, not good things per se, but not bad things. Oh my god, it actually hit me. That's quite impressive. And algae's resistance, that is better than a lemon party. But you know what's not better than a lemon party? A lemon party! Oh yes. Oh, oh the lemon party value all up in here. That is how you use a lemon party pill right there. So... I think I'm probably going to Algiz the heart. No, I probably should Algiz Satan, shouldn't I? That makes more sense. It's the harder of the two fights, technically speaking. Though the mum's heart has, of course, been kicking my ass repeatedly recently. I don't even really know what's up with that. And... Sweet. And that one just died to a fly. Which is good, because with normal tears, it's always a little bit awkward uh, to deal with that. Still want to know what these things do. Like, no one has ever let them still stand next to it for long enough, I don't think. And I feel like we all owe it to ourselves to find out what the hell they will actually do to you. Do I want to go in that curse room? Do I care? Do I want to? Do I do I want to want to go and pay two of my hearts for a look? I'm not sure, not sure that I want to want to do that. I'd rather just go make somebody bleed. bleed. That went a little bit. Harsh a little bit quickly, actually. Rainbow, why did I kill it? I could have gone in the curse room, come back and fully healed. I am an idiot. Also, in my defense, I was just kind of attacking, and then it was way too late before my brain registered that there was a rainbow poop right there. So, I guess, I guess I got that going for me. Double gurgles, that's okay. You look like a battery gurgle. Are you a battery gurgle? You are a battery gurgle. Come on, yeah, just, yep, yeah, there we go. Well... This is a very difficult room, and I think together we can really, really pull through, and we managed it. That is very much excellent. I guess Polyphemus really is kind of a one, a run-winning item, because it just is so goddamn powerful. It really, really is. The fly is doing a good job there, but I swear it's not infestation shot, so it's probably just a slow spawning of flies. That's what it seems like. That was good. I have the damage to make that happen. That would have been very, very awkward. Troll bomb, don't care about you. For, for some reason, I know. It's crazy. So we have found the hut, which is nice. So let's do this thing. Hey, it lives. How are you doing? You doing good? I don't notice that these eyes aren't dying. It's uh, a little bit, little bit worrying. Just, just a 
Just a tad. Ah, but I did it in the end. I actually managed to not get hit by them for once. Yay, everybody! I did a thing! I'm firing Polyphemus tears very quickly. This makes me exceedingly happy. I nearly took contact damage from a walking nub. That would have really, really sucked. And... Come on. Come on. I guess it's... Wow. Okay, yeah. Really, really fast there. I am probably making a mistake in assuming that this is how it works. That that's how... That because I've not been able to take the negative of Polaroid, I really can't move on. And maybe I am making a mistake here. But, you know, as to my understanding of the game, this at least makes sense. So that's what I have to roll with. Because it's what I know. You know. Bye to you. Calm down. And there we have it. Come on. Come on. There it is. Lovely. No, no, no. Damn it, every single time that room gets me on multiple occasions, it really does. I'm actually really happy to have Virgo because it means I take one half of damage in the Satan fight, but then basically my health gets doubled for free, which is obviously really, really nice. Okay, they died kind of nicely. I have 24 bombs, so in the name of I need some health, God, please let me have some health. Let's just go for it. Yeah, credit card, yay. Really not as useful right now, I'll admit. Oh, a little bit of Bomberman action. That's cool. In fact, isn't there this exact room in the cathedral? I swear there's not many completely shared rooms between the two. But I guess potentially why would there not be? It's not like the dark path is inherently harder, is it? Well, it is a little bit. The dark room is just harder than the chest, if only for the different items that you start with. So I guess you go dark room if you just don't think you need a, a random four items to really push you over the edge in terms of power levels. Power levels! Goku would rock this game out. Don't even want to care about those two more bombs. I suppose that I should. And double Mr. Loki. It's not even the more difficult one, so this should be very much an easy fight. In fact, there goes the first one. And there goes the second one. I don't know, really know why I'm clearing rooms when I got 25 bombs in that situation. It seems like very much a waste. And in this situation, no. That's, that's, oh, okay. Let's, let's just repeat that, actually. Let's just actually repeat that. Oh, wow. That is, that is a series of exceptionally awful rooms. And I'm not really sure how anyone is supposed to comprehend that that is a thing that's happening to them. So that was um, completely horrible in every way, shape, or form. And this entire path of rooms that I have just skipped is quite possibly one of the worst, most difficult series of rooms I have ever actually seen. That is insane. Mega Fatty should not be too difficult. I just don't want to get accidentally caught out by his jumpiness. I'm not going to be lazy. I'm going to keep moving around and I'm going to keep damaging him. I also remember I've got an Algis rune, which normally would be enough to just kill something like Isaac, because he's always there, basically. But again, Satan might actually not be the useful ticket you'd expect it to be. So that's potentially a problem going on there. But we'll see. I mean, it'll definitely get me past the Fallen, but do I even need need or something like that to get me past the fallen i mean you shouldn't think so it just depends how terribly poorly i play please time it right no oh, please there it is okay don't do anything but just die and become the two and then the two are going to become the one and then the one is going to become dead let's just pop it let's just pop it Let's just not take any more damage. Let's use it to get to the phase that I can actually deal with. Because, I mean, it is 45 seconds. I guess it's really easy to underestimate in this game just how long 45 seconds of invulnerability is. Because it is a sizable amount. I mean, the fact I can get through two phases like that is just ridiculous to me. Like, it's actually ridiculous. In fact, I'm even going through two rounds of hooves. Okay, now... Now my invincibility is done. That is absolutely insane. Really, really is. Oh my god, leeches, be careful. Leeches, be careful. Leeches, be careful of all of the leeches. 
I mean, oh my god, I'm actually on one heart. When was I on one heart? What happened to the rest of my hearts? Like, I feel like changing direction is almost always the wrong move to be doing in this fight. Like, never, I mean, stopping movement is just a way to die very rapidly. And there we go. So I guess this is just gonna end the run, right? Oh no, I actually am moving on, so you don't need the Polaroid or the negative. That kind of sucks, and I immediately regret my decision to go to the dark room. I don't really know how I'm gonna... Why did I use the... Well! Okay! Well, you learn something new every day. You guys were probably all fully aware this was about to happen, and you're just there sniggering to yourself at the horrible decision I've made, and I don't really blame you. This is definitely, objectively, hilarious. <laughs> Oh my god, that is not good. In any way, shape, or form, that is just not good. There is nothing else to be said about that other than this is not good. I don't have the kind of damage to carry me through the dark room. It is not happening. I really thought Polyphemus' first item, we have extended our win streak. It is all good in the hood, and the hood is not good anymore, guys. The hood is absolutely... Just gone. There is never a hood anymore. I swear he started following me, did that goddamn cage. Which, you know, I really kind of take some offense to there, I will admit. At least I can take two more hits, right? That means something, probably, to someone, somewhere. I don't know. I'm kind of just a little bit upset that they're just kind of not... D yeah, Guppy's Collie, you gonna put me through? Yep, you're gonna put me through some more torment. Oh, I'm not even mad anymore. This is exactly what I was saying. The journey is way more fun than the destination. Guppies call it? No. All right. <laughs> I totally was recklessly playing, assuming I only had to kill Satan because I couldn't pick up either of the photos. But I guess you learn something new every day, guys. Oh, man. This is actually the last video in terms of preparation for going away, so I feel like that's kind of right. We can start again fresh and get our win streak actually somewhere up there, but never never lose sight of just the fun that we're having. So my name has been... Oh, I made a huge mistake. <laughs> My name has been Rex. I'm like you enjoyed this. It really does help. And subscribe for more. Oh, goodbye.